President. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Addington, what branch are we in? Uh, sir, perhaps the best that can be said is that the Vice President belongs neither to the executive nor to the legislative branch, but is attached by the Constitution to the latter. Close quote. Uh, that's from two legal opinions issued by the Office of Legal Counsel of the Department of Justice, <clears throat> dated March 9, 1961, and April, I believe it's 18, 1961, by, uh, I believe, Mr. Katzenbach, if I remember. So he's a member of the legislative branch? To Vice President Johnson, and I offer those as exhibits so is 13 he, and 14. Mr. Addington, is he a member, then, you're saying, of the legislative branch? That objection, they'll be entered into the record. Is he, so he's a member of the legislative branch? No, I said attached by the Constitution to the latter. He is not a member of the legislative branch because the Constitution says that the Congress consists of a Senate and a House of Representatives. The Constitution further says that the Senate consists of senators and the House of Representatives consists of representatives. And he is neither a senator nor a But he's senator. attached to the legislative branch? That's the quote I read you. So he's kind of a barnacle. You know, he is attached. The kind of a word was attached by the Constitution to the latter. I don't consider the Constitution a barnacle, Mr. Cohen. No, the vice president, since he's really not fish nor fowl, he just attached to something. It's not, the, the, it's not exclusive in the Constitution to have that situation. The, the time of the 